So this painting was based on an actual mugshot that I didn't realize at the time had kind of a secret. You wanna go deeper? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that wicked. So last year I, I released a series inspired by some vintage mugshots that I had collected, and it was called Cell Block One. Now that series consisted of one mugshot for every decade of the 20th century. And even though they were fictional characters, I'd say about half of them were loosely based on real police photos. Now one of them was a San Francisco mugshot of someone named Marie Lazar. She was arrested in San Francisco in 1942, and I loved her face, just like the severity of the eyes and that scowl. I just have so many questions for this face. Like there's a vulnerability there and you can see it, and that's interesting. Now, like all the mugshots, I took this source photo as just like a broad suggestion for the final image. Okay, so the series is done. Afterwards, uh, I designed like a little book as a collector's item. And as I was going through the source material and that mugshot in particular, I happened to catch something I missed initially. Attached to the police photo were typed in details like height and eye color and all that kind of stuff, which is why I sort of glossed over it before. But this time I happened to catch the words chest hair. Now, this was actually already one of my personal favorites from the Cell Block One series, and now it really is, because that detail adds a whole new layer of intrigue, right? All of a sudden, this painting that I thought I knew so well turns into a stereogram, you know, with like <laughs> hidden dimensions. Now, of course, you know, I mean, I, I couldn't help but dream up all kinds of backstories for each character in this series. With this new information, I'm thinking janitor by day, bombshell by night. You think you had it, Ralph. Now, the reason I changed the arrest year from 1942 to 1947 was because in the eyes, kind of reminded me a tiny bit of the Black Dahlia, a very hard boiled version. If you're interested in seeing more about this series, check out my Cell Block One video on YouTube. It's the full length behind the scenes of that whole series.